We want to give a special thanks to Briar for partnering with us to make this video. What's up, y'all? I'm Toya from My Froggy Stuff and a longtime Briar fan. Today, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Briar Craft products. There's a variety of Briar Craft and activity kits. Look, I'm even on the packaging. On the back of each one, we can scan the QR code and get crafty. Some catch your horses, paint and play. Ooh, there's a lot of horses in this one. We have four horses, one full, a paintbrush, and six paints. So we can paint our own sun catchers. Yeah! On the back of the box, we can see the different models. And on the side, it says, horses come in many different colors. When painted, these horses will have a beautiful translucent finish that catches the light. Dazzling in the sunlight, just like a sun catcher. Let's take it out of the box so we can see the horses and our paints and the included brush. Other items we might need include water, a paint palette, or a paper plate to mix paints, paper towels, clear nail polish, if you would like to give the eyes a little shine, and a clear drying sealant to protect your project. Now let's get started. I really like these three colors, maybe that one too. So let's open the paint, get a little on our brush, and apply a thin coat to the model. The beauty of sun catchers is that there is no wrong way to do them. Just have fun, get creative, and enjoy the process. I allow some of the paint to just pull in the little nooks and crannies. That really helps to make those details stand out. I'm going to switch to another color. So let's clean the brush, open the next pot of paint, then add the color to the horse. I like the idea of going from pink to purple. Then let's go with blue. Let's try the darker blue, followed by the purple again, then back to the hot pink. Then I just use the same color palette to finish up the legs, allow it to dry to complete our sun catcher, where we can place it in a window or on a light to see the colors shine. And since this kit comes with so many different colors and so many different horses, we can have fun trying out different ways to paint them. By using a lot of colors, this time I am not going for any particular pattern, just letting the colors flow. And I think it came out pretty cool. It's kind of like a watercolor tie-dye horse. For this little cutie, I'm just gonna use my favorite color to make a hot pink translucent pony. So here we went with a pattern, then we tried out a watercolor look, followed by a solid. And if we wanna take it a step further, let's not paint the horse at all. I absolutely love miniatures, and I like to use sun catchers as miniature ice sculptures. First, I build a base. I'm using white foam board, foil scrapbook paper, sticker gems, clear plastic from packaging, and clear glue sticks. First, I cut two four-inch squares of foam board, cut two four-by-six-inch rectangles, take one of the squares, cut out a hole for the light, glue the rectangles onto the sides, glue in the second square, creating a small shelf with a hole on top. Cut another piece of foam board for the side and glue it on so it is closed in on three of the sides and open on one side for the light. We can cover the outside with scrapbook paper or leave it as it is. I am going to cover it with a white marble scrapbook paper. Then I cut foil scrapbook paper for the top, cut out the center and glue it on top. Cut a piece of clear plastic from packaging. I'm going to glue it on top. Take sticker gems or scrapbook paper and I'm gonna make a circle and glue it down. Cut a glue stick into small pieces. Glue the cut pieces of glue on the top to look like ice. And I kept it pretty sparse in the center because we wanna make sure that light can shine through. Place the horses on top. Place miniature food around it to make a banquet table with a horse ice sculpture. We have the little light underneath shining up through the horses so they glow. For this ice sculpture, I used the horse that was rearing up 
and the foal. This is going to look great in our miniature world. However you choose to decorate your horses, be sure to have fun and get creative. To learn more about Briar and the real horses who inspire us, visit the Briar website at www.briarhorses.com. And we will see you next time. Bye!